up guys welcome back to the channel we got some eco boost kind of things going on today we are gonna be installing some milwaukee pots just kidding we're gonna be installing a cvf cold air intake taking it old school today wrench on a road <laughs> because some unfortunate circumstances anywho before we get started what is the purpose of a quarter intake and why are you installing it oh <laughs> just for just for the turbo noise that's it for real because <laughs> everyone in the forum oh you're just installing one hot air intake that even <laughs> makes sense you should have stick to oem but oem no more as, no as loud noise this is AFE. That's one piece. Oh. Um, that's the tube that oh. was for the sensor or something. Okay, real quick then. Let's hear how it sounds stock. Stock. That's for a comparison. Before. That's the before. So out the box you have your two tubes. This housing extension thing. You got your filters and your couplers. This guy fast. But first step is to loosen your hose clamps. There's one over there. And Mara is getting to the second one right now, down there. Also this, so you can remove the factory part, the factory top part of your air box. And then there will be sensors that you need to remove. This is one of them. Just be careful when removing them. Once you get that off, you also gotta pop this out because this is where that airbox extension is gonna sit. And then down here, this is optional. What do you mean? It's for if you like check the engine because we don't like that. You gotta pull off your connector thing going down there. And then, then what? You gotta buy this tube. So, there's a slash on top. A 45 degree. 45 degree is supposed to open up towards the turbo side. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Line up with the turbo. The turbo is that way. Now let ease. Let ease. Mm hmm Right there the turbo. That's it. Okay. Pull back your connector. Because you only make one check engine. And power. Okay. Right, Close the hood, turn them on. <laughs> and oh yeah, that tool helps. You, this tool. you don't need it, but I don't know what else I would use on board now. If well, nothing. <coughs> one time use. One time use. This is never gonna be used. No, you can't let Mitch borrow. Oh yeah, Mitch can. Mitch can use it. When, one. when he install his intake. Okay, now. Now what? Get this bad boy. Ready. This too is optional. Is it really? No. <laughs> but 
I might just draw mine. Let's see. What is that? Tingle. The cover? Think I want knock out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, knock out speed right there. Apparently, if you run them without this, you're in hot air intake. Oh. <laughs> I I never see that. Check out all the howlies on top before them. What if? Is it gonna be louder or is there gonna be a difference in sound if you don't put that? Oh yeah. Bro. Yeah. Like it sound better or? Sound better. So. But the thing is just gonna be a hot air intake. Yeah. Can I put the kind? Maybe like a couple, couple ice inside. <laughs> I think you can. <laughs> Get this guy prepped. I'll just go like this and like this that's it Try your clamps mm -hmm. also don't forget to transfer over your IAT sensor just gotta lift up this tab and turn it counterclockwise and just Wiggle it out, and here we go. I'll give it to him when he's ready. It's very fragile, so be careful. Oh, she tight, though. Hopefully, all the other clamps not like that. There you go. What's the trick? Shovel mean. <laughs> Simple as that. Shovel mean. Also, you can get cut easily from these. From the silicone? Yeah, it's not the clamps. Oh. Just be careful. Be who? Careful. <laughs> not careful. <laughs> careful. You can like go call ocean. Like Osha, you know, like Osha busted to you. Yeah. Oh, you should have been using gloves. You know, like Osha gonna be mad to you. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Twenty minutes <laughs> later. <laughs> cherry what? Oh, cherry. Look at the clown. Nice. Okay. You're not tighten them up yet. Bombay, you know what I mean? Bombay, Bombay, who you know mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> who? You. <laughs> you guys. You guys. So we got the covers in. And now we're installing the actual piping for the intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just finished coming back from war. War with these hose clamps. Dicks. Just send bigger ones like that. <laughs> I wonder why they buy AFE. What's the price difference? 500 bucks. 500 bucks. The AFE one. 800 something. Oh, for real? For the 23. Oh, so like $300 difference then? Yeah. That's, that's $300 work hose clamps then. <laughs> we, we have to use some of our own. That looks stainless from Paul. <laughs> also, don't forget to put your IAT sensor back, connect it with your connector your, from your wiring. And the tape around it just so you don't have your wire hanging off here and kind of like drag on to the sensor and your wiring we just zip tied it to the holes that 
the clips was um, popped in before that we popped out just like this guy that was the hole right there and we just zip tied it just so it's all secured and not flopping around so that's the reason why we had to pop off the wires out of there because the airbox extension sits all the way around the perimeter and I don't know what is the next step yes. oh <laughs> Yeah, not gonna be complete if no more that. Leave them crooked too. Leave it crooked? Yeah. Oh, Leave okay. them crooked. Oh, no, the, the install has to be crooked. Just kidding. He's not kidding. <laughs> Make straight like that. Like by our level. Now my eyes good enough. Or you get the eye levels. <laughs> <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Good enough for me. Looks legit. What's the next? Start them. Oh, I think you can hear the whistle a little bit more now. Sound the same. How come sound the same? <laughs> what is it? Nah, just kidding. I just kidding. Sound good. Oh, yeah. What about with the cover? You can put the cover, or are you gonna leave them hot, hot air? Are you gonna put the cover or no? It, it doesn't really make a difference We'll find out in, approx in, in approximately 27 seconds <laughs> Yeah, bit Right? Yeah. It's about about almost the same. What's the next? Oh, what is that dog? Turbo Smart. I don't know. <laughs> Just one noise maker. Noise maker? Yeah. How so? How so? <laughs> <sighs> Gotta take the freaking inner cooler out. Where? Stop one stay down there. Hold on, let me get a creeper. Inner cooler is out. Uh you're not really sure you guys how to take them out, but <clears throat> pretty much just gotta take out that bracket down there. Disconnect the pipes and pull them down. And your connector for the stock blow off valve. Just gotta wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth. Nobody know that technique till now. Only you know that technique. Yeah. I mean um technique, yeah. yeah. Cause you found out from TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Old oh. one. That's a cool dog. What is that? Oh that's an actual bluff out. Yeah. Got him installed. Now go back. Now he go pull back. Pull him back. He go pull back in a chuck.
12 valve is in. Tin Lao Ya Tag. Watch when you when you actually drive it'll be louder. Yeah, it'll be louder. The install is not complete until you turn on the sticker. Cause it adds horsepower. Mm-hmm. And this one specifically. Or what bad? Pacifically. Fifteen horse. Power. Yeah. Not horsepower, horsepower. Horse. And again, laser, laser level. A laser level. Where? <laughs> what does that say? Turbo smart. Smart. Oh, you're acting smart, hell yeah. You're acting smart. That's good. We like that. Oh, it's freaking loud. Way loud. Of course. Okay. I don't know what I thought. Then we get um 14. Huh? Bijo 14. Daniel! I mean Dwayne. Hey Dwayne. Hi Dwayne. Dwayne the Rock Cheeks. I feel like you can also hear the whistle a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I gotta get four six. I'm gonna be like the Howdy guys. What? Oh my god, the throttle response is so great now. <laughs> Why they fucking install something? You think freaking automatic 500 horsepower or something? It is though. Bro. Yeah? So loud. Oh, Sick off. 